Hello one and everyone, Proper Vandal back again to finish up this Blender 2.54 beta tutorial on how to create basic first person shooter controls. Uh, in this part of the tutorial we are going to be covering how to implement the mouse look script written in Python uh, which controls the camera. Uh, if you look in the description I have a uh, link to download the mouse look script. This script I got from tutorialsforblender3d.com and I adapted it to work with 2.54 and um, uh, really just copy and paste the script. I know I said I was going to explain it, but in previous attempts at this tutorial, I was unable to keep with the time limit and describe it. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, if you do want a, uh, a tutorial on Python or just how to use Python specifically for the Blender game engine, there are plenty out there. So just uh, use your Google Foo and go look one up. Uh, anyway, so if that doesn't interest you at all, just copy the source code that I provided for you. Anyway, uh, we have to put our script somewhere. So we're going to click new here. This is your uh, scripting window. We're going to click new and call the script mouse look with camel case, which means every word is capitalized, but no spaces. So um, if you click these three buttons here, this just to show line numbers, word wrap, and syntax highlighting. Uh, this is just for my purposes so I can see things better. Um, but this won't really mean anything to you until you know some Python. Anyway, uh, just paste that in here, and now we have our mouse look script. So what we want to do now is uh, something that you have to understand about how the script works is when you move the mouse up and down, you want the camera to rotate up and down. However, when you rotate, uh, I'm sorry, when you move the mouse from left to right, what you want to have happen is you want the cube to rotate. Uh, if you remember what I said about parenting, the camera will inherit the rotation from the cube, so both will move at the same time. Thus, you'll get sort of the uh, rotating effect. Since in the previous tutorial we already created sort of a strafing mo motion to work with the A and D keys, now we have the rotation, so we can move anywhere we want. So um, to control this happening, we need a sensor. So click your camera with right click, and we're going to add a sensor to detect mouse, and mouse event we want movement, so it detects whenever the mouse moves. Um, if you want to know what to name it, you have to look in the script, and it is, I'm going to show you, right here. Uh, Mousecontroller.sensors, uh, it's called mouse look. It is important that these two values match. It doesn't matter what they are, but the values have to match or else the script won't know which sensor you're talking about. Mouse look. Uh, that has nothing to do with what the script itself is, na is named. Uh, it just happens to be the same in this case. So uh, now that we have a sensor, we want to add a controller, we want to add a bridge, but instead of using an AND controller, we want to direct it to the Python script. So connect these. Um, the, under script, we're going to click this and go to mouse look. I seem to be losing my voice, excuse me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, so now that we have our sensor, we have our controller, we need an actuator. Now remember what I said, when we move the mouse up and down, we want the camera to move. So we're going to put this actuator on the camera. So we're going to go for motion, motion, we're going to call this up, down. This name is also because it is named this way in the script, which is right here in the script, uh, where it's talking about controller actuators. Now, um, we want it to be named up, down like this one, and we're going to bridge these. Um, all of this information right here, as far as, you know, the location and rotation, you don't have to change any of that because um, it is handled in the script. Now we want to add another actuator, but we want it on the cube because we're going to be rotating the cube and the camera left and right. So right click on the cube and then we're going to go to add actuator, do another motion actuator, and we're going to call this left, right, just like it is in the script. And uh, we're going to, let's see, yeah, we don't have to change anything else. Now, this one doesn't ha is not connected to a controller and a sensor yet. So we want this one to be uh, excuse me, connected to the same one that the camera is. So if you press shift and right click the camera to have both selected, you'll see that the uh, sensor and controller appear as well as the ones for the player cube. So we want to we want to connect the controller, we want to connect the mouse look script to left right as well. So we connect that. 
And now, whenever the mouse moves, it goes to the script. If it moves up and down, it changes the camera. And if it moves left and right, it changes the cube as well as the camera because of the parenting properties. So, if we were to go ahead and test this, press P, wait, we want to go into first person mode, so press zero, press P to test, the cube falls, and now we can look left, we can look right, we can look up and down, and we could probably see the cube too. That, there's the cube. There's our player cube. This is the point where you would want to make it, you know, invisible uh, by going to the physics property uh, and changing it to invisible. Uh, we can also move at the same time with our keys that we set up and we're rotating and that's basically what we needed to do. So um, as I said before, if you need a Python explanation or if you're interested in knowing how that works, there are plenty of tutorials out there explaining that. But uh, for right now, that's really all I have the ability to cover uh, to cover well to where you guys understand it, at least. At least I hope you understand it. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Hope this helped a bit. And uh, happy viewing, happy rendering, happy etc, etc. Uh, see y'all later.